In this video, we're going to treat the sternocleidomastoid, which comes from the sternum clavicle to the mastoid process, and to the scalenes, which comes roughly between C2 and C7, and they attach onto the first and the second rib. The scalene, and the, especially the SCM, if I was to rotate my patient's head to the left, it would be the right side that would be responsible for the rotation to the opposite side. I tend to start with my patient in a right rotated position and then from here I'm going to rotate because it's because I'm doing the movement rather than the patient actively contracting which means it's shortening I'm trying to control the movement of the patient so it's passive so the tissue is still relatively relaxed because most of the technique I do I like to lengthen even though we could argue about the shortening but it just seems to work better for me I tend to use a, a wax by Songbird and it's the fascial wax that they do and we hardly use any because we just literally just rub our fingers or one of two fingers on top and then just lightly apply some down the SCM, not too much. You want to see a sheen yeah, rather than a, a tissue shine because otherwise you'll have too much and the fingers will just slip from there. Now what we're going to do first of all, I, I like to put my knee up onto the couch. I place my, almost like my, my upper arm over her top of the shoulder and control the movement of the C-spine. I am going to come in, so I'm going to get into rotation here, and I'm lightly going to find the mastoid, and I'm going to slowly glide down. But not, the nice thing about me controlling, I can almost like stop, start again, bring it back, and just glide through the tissues, a little bit tender on that point. So I'm just going to glide down. It, we have a natural tendency to slip off, and the SEM is is almost like, the, like this rope-like structure here. So be careful on pressure, especially anterior to this cervical, cervical where the carotid pulse is, etc. And not many patients like pressure here. So we're gonna glide down, and I'm going to come back up. So I'm just gonna slowly glide down through that tissue. I'm gonna watch where my fingers are going here. But my fingers, are when I do come off, they'll naturally come posteriorly, so I will be onto virgin on the anterior scalene tube, where my fingers are located just there. And again, the nerve plexus comes out with a subclavian artery, and it's called the sub, it's actually called the neurovascular bundle. Um, and then any compression in here will give you what we call a thoracic outlet syndrome. So again, be careful on pressure, because if you press too much, we might feel it in the arm or even in the shoulder. So I'm going to glide down. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to rotate and almost flex her as I glide my fingers posteriorly. Are you okay? Coming down through that. Okay. I'm going to start again, but because I'm doing it passively, I can stop, start, I can bring it back off, so I can control exactly, rather than my patient, actively contracting the muscles. So I'm going to come off now, I'm onto the scalenes, drifting more to the middle fibers, and I'm going to glide down through there. Good. Okay, you will obviously hit trapezius, and you can change it for the trapezius as well if you want to, even levator. But the idea of this, you bring it into the rotation, I'm going to rotate my patient. If you want, you can use an MET. If the patient rotated to the left, she actually contracts the right side. After the 10 seconds, I would normally say to my patient, take a breath in. And as they breathe out, do nothing. I'm gliding down. As I'm gliding down through. Now I'm off the SCM, I'm onto the scalenes. I'm going down through the fibers, and I'm going to rotate and flex and glide across. Be careful because they are quite fibrous in many patients and they are very tender. So sometimes less is best in terms of the fascial treatment for that. And there we have soft tissue techniques for the sternocleidomastoid and scalenes.